hit hard to the right side. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. A one run finish, an eight to seven game tonight. Los Angeles took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Angels, eight runs on 12 hits. No errors, they left 12 men on base. We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Los Angeles. Jaime Berea is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Angels. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, it just goes to show you how tough it is to pitch in today's game. This guy has a career ERA over five. At times he can be good, and at times he can be really, really bad. It'll be interesting to see which guy shows up in this one here today. Bottom of the third now, and next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Trevor Davidson. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. So striding in, Trevor Davidson. He'll swing it from the left side right here. And this is the side of the plate this guy loves to hit at. Hitting over 350 left-handed, hitting against right-handed pitching. Hey, I'm surprised he went to that spot in his own. This guy's known. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. So digging in now, Trevor Davidson as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Really doesn't matter what side. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. Riding in once again, Trevor Davidson. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Gone! 13-4, the way this one ends. Los Angeles get the win on the heels of four home runs. Jaime Berea gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Nate Pearson permitted six earned runs to come across.
We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Colorado Rockies and the Toronto Blue Jays. Blue Jays baseball. Trevor Story steps in now, and we are set for baseball here this evening. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, but it bends just foul into the second deck. The wind up and the 0 1. One and one. I got two on the count. 53 degrees here at game time as it's cooled off considerably since batting practice this afternoon. Now a big swing and this ball is crushed out to deep center field. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. This guy has some pop. You can't just lay one in there. What happens? He leads the game off just like that. It's one nothing. And that'll bring in Charlie Blackman. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. His past history with Hunjin Ryu. He's got 12 hits in 35 ABs. He's taken him deep once. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Batting third. The third baseman. Bowling. Striding in for the Rockies. Nolan Arenado. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Line toward the gap in left center. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. As a pitcher, you'd love to assert your authority early on in the game, but it hasn't happened so far out here. That's a home run and a double against him now, and we're still in the first. He's going to have to make some adjustments quickly if he's going to turn this around. Daniel Murphy is at the plate, and he checks his swing for ball one. Line drive to center field. That's in there. Base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold there, Devo, to make sure that gets down and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get it. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. Notch one in the score column as a runner from third crosses the plate. It's a 2-0 ball game, and he'll reach second now with one away. That is it. The second base hit. When he started this game, giving up three extra base hits in the opening frame was not what he had in mind. He could still settle down and turn things around on the mound, but the way it's going right now, this has the makings of a start he's going to want to forget. Another first inning RBI opportunity for him here. And that's in there. Base hit. And the run is in to score from second. That makes it a 4-0 ball game. And he certainly has been no mystery to solve thus far. Sooner or later, they might need to get someone else in there just to get out of the first. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson. He's assuming the role of DH in this interleague matchup. Yeah, Matt, that's one of the funny things about National League teams playing it. That ball foul. Drill down the line. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Stepping into the box, Ian Desmond. And the Rockies trying to hang even more damage on the scoreboard in the opening frame. Now a dive, but he can't get there, and this is going to be trouble out there in left center. He pulls into second safely as they also score a pair of runs on the play. Batting up. The catcher, number 35, Elias Diaz. Elias Diaz, the next to hit, as he rips it on the ground to second. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop, Trevor Story. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. Story swings, and this ball is hammered to deep left field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. 
What a way to get things started while playing on the road. Top of the first and a big fly just like that. They take the lead. Here's Charlie Blackman now. As he'll take a look at ball one. He definitely doesn't look himself to start this one. And this lineup needs to be on the attack early and be aggressive and find a way to stay in this game. And it's in time at first. And hallelujah, the side is retired. But... Next to bat for Toronto, Bo Bichette. He leads off this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by an opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. Yeah, I don't know if I love the approach of pulling the trigger on that OO pitch. I can't imagine that's exactly what he's looking for. The result works. The pitcher can't be too mad. Kevin Biggio is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Desmond is going to get back, and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. Ah, he changed his mind there as he's back into first, no problem. No First pitch Lourdes. of the at-bat. Lourdes Gurriel right is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. I'm sure the boys are going to blow him up in the clubhouse for that ugly swing right here. But he has a chance. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. One hit in the inning, but no one left. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. Here's the first pitch to him. He's able to ride this one high and deep toward right center. And he's going to kick off the second with extra bases. And he will make it there as the Rockies are in business right away. It's a leadoff double. Now back, the first baseman, Daniel. Here's Daniel Murphy now. As he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. A base hit in his first trip. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Clearly staying away from him in this at bat with that runner in scoring position tells me they're trying to force him to reach for something and maybe roll over on it. Richard is right there, one down. The Stepping up now, the David Dahl. He'll try to follow up the double Dahl. in his last at bat with another big hit right here. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Well, Matt, as we take a look at his line here, he might not know all the specifics, but he knows he hasn't been pitching all that well in this one. Sometimes it happens. You start a game. Now this rolls all the way to the wall. Dump is on his way home. He will score as they extend their lead even